So let's go into track surface decal. And it might throw it again, so I'm going to have to pay attention here. Add surface decal. Nope, that time it actually did do it. See, and I think going back to what I said initially, why it threw it like that is because I did not close the application in so long. Because I had the application open for well over three hours, that's probably why it, it threw the texture. So the fact that it put it right where I had the mouse pointed, that's the way it should work. So that if you're noticing those types of anomalies happen when you're trying to put TSEs in there, that's a problem. But I kind of went over as far as how you can find it, as far as where it potentially threw it, by changing the, in this case, the, the track texture to see where it threw it, um, by just creating that contrast in the texture. So hopefully that that that, be, that was somewhat useful, I guess, to anybody that would necessarily divulge into doing this. But the fact that it did put it where I wanted it, that tells me that's that's a hundred percent had to do with me keeping the sandbox utility open for too long, without closing it and re, you know, re uh, reopening it. This can make it fresh. So from this point, I can go ahead and select this. Yeah, this is the way traffic surf check surface decal should be. This, this is the way they should go, necessarily. Alright, so what I'm going to do is put this at zero. To put that zero that right out. Alright, so what I'm going to do is make the length of this... And I could use the linear guide, uh, to be honest, to get a more appropriate... Uh, but that's okay. We're going to make this, you know, we just want to define the start finish line a little bit, is all. It don't have to be perfect. Um, let's do 18. That's actually a little too long. It's overhanging a little bit. So let's put it at 16. Uh, let's try 17. Yeah, if I would have used the linear guide, it would give me a little bit more precise. 17 looks pretty good. All right, so now I can keep that selected. If I go back to geometry, okay, I can see where that is. That's right where I want it to be, right there. It's, it's right there. It's right. It's dissecting that perfectly. See, so I can go back and forth between that if I needed to, um, to put it where it needs to go. But that does actually doesn't look too bad. So I can go back to track surface decal. I'm gonna fine tune this. This is what I was saying, where this dialogue comes in handy. Instead of dragging it, you know, to kind of get this closer to the wall, say, for example, I can just adjust the DLAT. So I'll just adjust the manual number here like this. That's actually not too bad. Uh, let's, let's adjust the length a little bit. Let's do... Yeah, that looks pretty good. Not too bad. All right, so I can click out of that. Now let's see how it looks on the camera. <laughs> 